welcome over here to this grocery haul. This grocery haul is our grocery haul in our new home. So we actually just moved into our new home today and I needed so many things because obviously we don't have any food. So I did Walmart grocery pickup and then we also went to Costco. We spent a ton of money but everything we got, we need. I'm not stockpiling or anything like that. We need everything. When we moved, we had to throw out ketchup, soy sauce, everything like that to move to my parents' house. But now that we are back in Utah, um, I just need a bunch of things. So I'm gonna show you what I got. I'm not gonna show you each individual item because there's probably a total 400, 500, four to 500 items and that's just a ton of stuff. So I'm just going to show you kind of like the gist of it, I guess I should say. I'm going to start over here. These are all of the canned items. These are all Walmart. So all of these canned items I got from Walmart. I also got this broom and there's little tiny Brinley shoes, but I needed a broom because when we moved, we had to throw our broom away. We got th um, a bunch of cans of diced green chilies. I go through those so qu quickly. Great Northern beans, petite diced tomatoes, black beans. Kidney beans, tomato paste, seriously, every type of can of something you could imagine. I got a couple of them because I cook so, so often. We really don't go out to eat much at all, so the more I cook at home, the more we save money. But anyways, here are all of the canned items, black beans, pinto beans, cream of soups. They're all pretty much right here, and now I apologize for having my kitchen sink in the background, but that's just life. This is something I got at Costco. I love buying it at Costco. It's just some avocado oil spray. Very good deal for both of them. And the only ingredient is avocado oil. So that's why I got that over here. This was from Walmart. And then, okay, I really, really, really wanted to show you this. I've been wanting to show you this for a while. I got three of these jars of Better Than Bullion, one beef, one chicken, and then one veggie. These are to make different types of broth, like chicken, broth, you know. It will just, it'll, it, what I'm trying to say is it saves you money if you buy bullion like this and then add water to it. It's just a good price. And then also, we love Better Than Bullion. So now over here, baby wipes, trash bags, and then cereal. We got this cereal from Walmart. These are more Costco items over here. We have some sponges. We were all out of sponges. Back here we got maple syrup. I love getting my maple syrup at Costco. I just personally think it's the best value there. Dishwashing or dish soap, dishwashing detergent, creamy peanut butter. This is just the Costco organic brand. I've never gotten semi sweet chocolate chips like this, but I decided to try them like this today because I'm thinking about putting them just into a big jar and in my pantry. Olive oil, light bulbs. I'm wanting to put um, white light up mainly here in the kitchen. I will show you these lights right now. You can't even see what am I doing um, Are yellowish. They're not white lights. So I think white looks better when I'm filming back here um, Bear apple chips. Those are some of Brinley's favorite apple chips Pillows when we moved to New Mexico, we actually left a few of our pillows at my parents house so we just Picked up some of these pillows. They look really nice. It was $12 for two pillows, so $6 each. Paper towels. We also got some toilet paper right here. Um, rice. We got jasmine rice and then some of that rice. Almond milk. A lot of pasta. If you know me, I love pasta, so I went ahead and picked up a lot of pasta at the Walmart grocery pickup. We just go through it pretty quickly. This is something new I'm trying. It's this Veggie Garden Delight pasta, mainly for lunches, like for Brinley and that type of thing. Oh, a lot of things I got from the Walmart grocery pickup are like busted or dented, so you know, that's okay with me, but I'm not too sure why they're all busted. I'll have to show you a couple of the cans in a minute. Anyways, just some more things like panko breadcrumbs, bags, aluminum foil, parchment paper, cling wrap. I didn't have any of that because when we were moving to New Mexico, I used everything up so I wouldn't have anything left. But mac and cheese for Brinley for quick lunches. Oh, here's a little 
dinner that we had tonight. So I got fruit at Costco for dinner and then we picked up two pizzas. We got a pe cheese pizza and a pepperoni pizza at Costco because we have a few people helping us. We have my brother helping us, my brother's friend, and then of course my husband. So wanted to treat them to dinner. I know that's not anything too nice, Costco pizza, but it was quick and easy. So now I'm gonna show you the rest of the stuff we picked up. Oh, here, I'll show you the freezer actually. So here is a freezer, it is not in, it's not organized, let's just say. But I got some Costco bacon, Costco berries, two of these bags of chicken breast. Um, you know I go through chicken very quickly. This was a Walmart pickup, Sister Schubert's dinner rolls. If you've never tried them, go right now and get them. They are so, so good. If you've never tried Costco's ground beef like this in the rolls, I find it in the freezer section. Um, five one pound individually wrapped um, ground beef logs, I don't know what they call them. They're wonderful, easy to defrost, so that's what I typically get for my ground beef. And then over to my fridge, oh, that's leftover from lunch. We just got a bunch of cheeses, mozzarella, parmesan, eggs, milk, stuff to make salad. It's so bare because I have a lot of stuff out. Anyways, ginger, I've been using a lot of ginger in recipes, so I thought this would be a lot easier than peeling it. Now for the rest of the stuff on the countertop. This is kind of like little odds and ends things that I picked up from Walmart. Something dropped over there, oh well. Two limes, vanilla, this was actually at Costco. Pretty expensive for vanilla, but this is pure vanilla. I've gotten pe um, people telling me in my other videos that I need to start using pure vanilla, so that's what I got. Mayonnaise, almond butter. So I always get this at Costco, the best almond butter ever. I love it there. It's such a good price and it, the ing only ingredient is almonds. I like to make smoothies out of it. Picked up some broccoli, carrots, spinach for lunches and dinners this week. Cilantro, I'm going to make some enchilada soup. Cheeses, more dairy products, Greek yogurt, cream cheese, and then over here, apple cider vinegar. Recipes call for this often enough, so I picked up that. Honey, I like to get my raw honey at Costco. We don't have any local honey near me, so I picked up um, three of these things of honey. I find it to be a better price than at Walmart, and this will last us about seven to eight months, which is nice, so I don't have to get honey anytime soon. I got a lot of stuff like soy sauce, red wine vinegar, pickles, salsa, Worcestershire sauce, ketchup, mustard, all of these little odds and ends things I had to throw out, like I said previously. When we were moving, they wouldn't have been able to stay in my storage unit, so... Had to throw it all away, and that's why I'm getting it all right now. Now that I think about it, I was supposed to get taco seasoning at Costco, but I forgot it there. Oh well. I picked up a few seasoning packets, um, gr brown gravy mix. You just never know when you'll need it for a recipe. Hi, Brinley. Brinley's wanting to come in here. <laughs> um, cranberries, cornstarch, oats. I picked up three containers of oats. I cook with oats so often. Will also eats oats for breakfast pretty much every morning. So do I a lot of times. And then back here, chips. We, I, we already broke into these. As soon as I got home, we started eating those. But we picked up a lot of chips. For my cleaning supplies, these uh, magic erasers were on coupon at Costco. That's the only reason I picked them up. And if you've never used a magic eraser, they are seriously magic, especially for like cabinets. If you have kids or grandkids or kids go to your house, pick these up. Crayons will come off of walls. It will just, it will work wonders, <laughs> let's just say. Anyways, um, some wipes to clean up after messes during lunchtime. Wipes for the car, just antibacterial. Antibacterial spray, I didn't have any cleaning supplies because moving. But anyways, I have some microfiber towels. I got two packages of these, so four total. I'm gonna order some from Amazon, but this will get me by for now. Toothpaste, toothbrushes steel wool pads just in case something gets so messy. I have to use that. Bleach, I don't typically use bleach to clean with, but 
I always like to have some bleach on hand just in case I need to use it. Anyways, this is seriously pretty much everything I got. And then Brinley's been trying to say hi in the other room, so I'm going to show you her really quickly. So here is a little trouble troublemaker. The whole time I was filming, she was trying to run in there, and she's just watching a show, so I just wanted to show you what she's doing. Brinley, say hi. Oh, and then this is just a guest room. We have Aunt Bailey here. Um, some of the stuff is being moved in right now, so this is just the guest bed in a wrapper. I almost completely forgot to show you, hi Brinley, um, the dented cans I was talking about. There's uh, this is the worst, but there's a couple other cans that are super dented that they gave me. I was like, wow, I can't believe how dented they are. And that is a wrap of this huge, massive grocery haul. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed this grocery haul in our new home. And if you are new here, we'd love to have you, so go ahead and subscribe down below the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.